Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. I'm here at Chicago Auto Show. Five Foot Wonder, Jill Sumanello, Managing Editor, went to do a podcast. I thought I'd do a Would You Rather. I have this 2024 Chevy Colorado Trail Boss. And the guy walked out past the screen because that's what you do in these shows. Trail Boss or ZR2. So let's talk about these differences. So this is the Trail Boss. Lots of black plastic on here um, as far as the front goes. We do have a lift on this. We have a little wider track with those tires. We do have the tow hooks are kind of bent back in there, hard to see. And then we have some skid plates. And then looking over here, we have the Colorado on the side. There's your, again, profile on the side higher up because again, Trail Boss, little lift. We have some plastics here, plastics here. I do don't have the headlight controls because it's built in a dash in this vehicle. I do have a trailer brake control here, your steering wheel, your shifter on this side, drive modes have a, a phone holder there, kind of a wireless charger there, and the brake setting there. Some cup holders, cup holders, cloth seats, okay? And this one was, let me do a thought on the pricing. This was starting price $38,895. This one's probably more in your $40,000 range. In the rear, we have more cloth seats, not much leg room. There's not much leg room in the Colorado for sure. I think the Ford Ranger actually has more leg room because I don't think the Ford Ranger seat bottoms are as deep. I feel like these are deeper seat bottoms. And then coming around the sides, there's our suspension hookup. We have the Trail Boss there on the logo. I like how this is bent in, like the sheet metal's kind of got some nice lines to it. On the rear, we have Chevrolet spilled out there as well, the Colorado. We have a little step here because they, they kept this for, the, for getting it inside the bed and the holder here. We'll pop this down. You can see a little bit of a design there, a little bit of a, you can see the uh, scale here. We have the bed with some tie down. We don't have LEDs in the bed, which I, when I took this deer hunting was kind of a problem. I didn't have many LEDs, didn't have many lighting in this truck. So let's go check the ZR2. Different customers, Trail Boss, more your mild off-road, this more your aggressive off-road, but this one, would you rather? I have the DSSV damp, dampers here, Multimatic DSSV, um, really good for uh, making sure you're stable off-road and controlling how much uh, articulation you're having when you're bouncing on top, those things automatically adjust to keep you have a nice smooth ride. ZR2 there, same thing like you did in the Trail Boss. Same bent in, just different logo there. We don't have a step here. The reason we don't have a step here is because this is more of an off-road trim. This is the big baddest off-road trim and they wanted to not have this get crushed if you hit a rock or something. So they just covered that up, made it a little bit stronger. We have the rear, the bed's the same. I wish we had some LEDs in the bed. It's one of my big criticisms of the Colorado. Not much lighting back here. Just the single chisel lamp that goes down. Um, we have a little bit wider track. You can see as well with the ZR2, wider track. We have the bigger tires. We have a little bit of rock rail here. This is kind of a combo step rail and rock rail, really better for rocks. Keeps stuff from banging the sides of the truck and breaking the messing the sheet metal up. Uh, pricing here is $48,395. Again, that's base price. So you're about 10 grand difference looking at this Colorado versus the Trail Boss. Zero two Trail Boss, 10 grand difference, okay? And so looking at the inside, we have a little better styling. I like the styling, the double stitching here double the stitching here, a little bit better styling in the seats. I like the way the seats look. We have the your dash the same, ZR2 there. Again, the same shifter, the same setup there. The back's the same as well, and all the same. Although we do have auxiliary switches. Uh, uh, it's not auxiliary switches. Those are the controls for the uh, sunroof, sorry. Looks like auxiliary switch switches when I just looked at them. Uh, 1124 payload on the ZR2, by the way. The trail boss got a little more payload. And then we have the front end. Now again, a little bit bigger front end, looks a little stronger. We have more gloss black here and the Chevy Flow Tie. This is meant to get more airflow in the turbocharged engines because turbos love airflow. Cold air especially is the best. Tow hooks there, skid plate, not really a skid plate. We have the um, red tow hooks, black tow hooks, some just differences overall. I like the way the ZR2 looks. I think it looks pretty badass. Personally, if I was in the segment, I'd probably spend a 10 grand and go ZR2 because that's the most badass looking version of the Colorado. What do you guys think? Pre comments down below. Would you go Trail Boss, ZR2, save 10 grand? I don't know, where are you at with that? Again, pre comments down below. Be curious to know what's going on with that in your view. Also, check out videos over here. Website down below as well, pickuptrucktalk.com. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.